Hello together. I'm Thorsten, the guy who made cassette television you are about to watch. It's the first public screening ever, so you're part of the world premiere. After some years of work on the project, it's quite a pity that I can't be here in person. But I'm very happy to be presented in this year's edition of Ultra Cinema. And with this project, it was the first time ever that I worked under the label of Soyuz Apollo, which is some kind of fictional art collective that deals with topics of media. So Ultra Cinema seems to be a perfect match for me, with its focus on experimental, found footage, film-related and archive topics, I'm feeling to be in pretty good hands here. And I like the thought that uh, creating an English version also made sense and that the first public screening ever will happen about 6,000 miles away from my home. I hope you enjoy my work and if you want to give me some feedback, write me an email. I'd be happy to hear from you. So, thanks to the people from Ultra Cinema and a big hello from overseas. Have fun with the strange history of video in Germany. Bye! Euphoric assessments already assume that a new media age is imminent for the general public. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, my dear ladies and gentlemen. The Telerent Video Club welcomes you heartily to its program. It's going to be the biggest revolution one can think of. Thousands of possibilities open up for us. The magic word is video. Audio vision will be finding its way into West German living rooms. Werden Sie Ihr eigener Intendant? So einfach ist es. Private space is extended as an environment for audio vision. Will affect every part of our lives. Without video, I'll probably have a very different view of the world. Der Bildschirm ist die zweite Netzhaut des geistigen Auges geworden. Set new goals. Das wird also Kreise ziehen, die wir heute nur erahnen können. Oh, I see. Arouse new needs. We have also these porno films. And ultimately overthrow the whole political, educational, and commercial establishment. Who of you knows what zombie films are? Tja, in video is action. What, dear video friends? Sie müssen lernen, in einer ziemlich kuriosen neuen Welt zu leben. Bueno, buenas tardes, buenos días, donde quiera que estén, nos estén viendo, estamos aquí a punto de eh, platicar con eh, Thorsten Wagner. Ah, sorry, I, I was I forgot your last name. I will I will need to start again. Sorry. Ok. Eh, hola, buenas tardes, buenos días, dependiendo de dónde nos escuchen, estamos o vean, vean estamos aquí. Eh, presentando una sesión más de conversaciones eh, eh, de Arquino, este proyecto paralelo de Ultracinema. Y estamos eh, acompañados de Thorsten Wagner, que nos va a platicar sobre su película Cassette Televisión, que está ahorita lista y disponible por tiempo limitado a través del sitio arquino.ml. Y nos acompaña Antonio Arango, que bueno, es un artista mexicano, eh, pues digamos que... Uh, además de talentoso, es un colaborador de Ultracinema. Y eh, lo invitamos, pues bueno, él tiene una experiencia eh, con el video que de, de, igual seguro saldrá. Nosotros presentamos la videorevista Glicerina en la edición pasada de Ultracinema. Entonces, bueno, los, se, me, se me hizo que estaría interesante platicar con, que platicara con Thorsten. Entonces, thank you, Thorsten. Thank you for taking your, the time to, to talk with us about your lovely and uh, very necessary film, Cassette Television. You are in Hamburg, and 
I'm, I really appreciate to, to you to you have the time to, to speak with us. Hi. I love that. Yeah, thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, Antonio, uh, it's a little. Okay, little... hi, Thorsten. <laughs> it's a saw... pleasure to, to talk with you at this moment. It's a little bit strange to speak with you in English, Antonio, but uh, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to, to be with, with us on this conversation. So I will let you both to, to start to speak about cassette television. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Micha. Okay, Thorsten, um, a pleasure to talk with you. Uh, and it's been a, 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 a great discovery, as I wasn't telling you some minutes uh, ago, about, about watching your film, your video, I, I, I would say, yeah, and your production about the the the, uh, the history and the prohibition about the video formats. Uh, I would like to begin about to tell. The, I would like you to tell me something about your essay because it's an essay. Uh, your yeah, video. it kind of is. And, yeah. and tell me something about the the, uh, the 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 approach that you have with the format. I mean. I know the team. I was in, uh, watching the, the, the team about uh, Soyuz Apollo and the team that, that you produce the, the video. And I think, I think that you have all the same generation, a similar, a similar generation like me, because we, we, we suffered the, the, the video formats and the decline of the video formats. Uh, tell me uh, something about the genesis about this this production. How was how how, how it began, for example? Um, I tried to um, have like uh, different voices on the topic mm -hmm. um, to create different voices that are like um, with they they have a different uh, view, different perspectives on the topic. And they are like uh, from the uh, contemporary witness who is like very subject subjectively talking mm -hmm. uh, till those guys that are like uh, more in their object position, in their objective position. So it was like... Um, they with those uh, different um, make the, um, the 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 history of video uh, able to experience in a complex way. I mean, it's kind of easy to uh, like talk uh, with with some nerdy perspective about the topic you love, because that's working quite easily. You can um, emotionally uh, very much um, uh, um, how you say connect with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you experience the whole thing but the story is much more complex it has all like those uh political those uh society aspects and the uh, whole process of uh the technical stuff which uh also is like uh very much uh, a conflict that has been fought and that really like influenced the way that uh the medium came out as it was so uh -huh. that was that was my, my approach to try to create like that multi-perspective uh, view on the topic. That's why those different positions and those different guys are talking, yeah. And I think that uh, something very medular about the, the video is the way that it was infiltrated at the home. Because uh, um, nobody was prepared for that, uh, not even the industry, the politic, uh, the politicians, and of course the family itself. Um, and I think the, the 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 family, the home, was in some way um, 
one of the consequences that it uh, uh, it started with the, the, the beginning about the introduction of the video formats. Um, you were some, uh, also a witness as Jim. Jim, well, I would tell you, like I told you, is one of the protagonists of this video uh, that the, the, the audience can watch. And, and Jim is a particular uh, witness uh, a, 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 in the video as experience he had from the, as a child with the video and the, the way it affected his family, his life, and his perception in, on, 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 uh, about the visual, the, the imagination or the perception about what a movie was. It's not, what do you, do you can say about this? Yeah, that, um, that position is like mostly my own experience that I had. Um, it's not exactly what I, I experienced. It's more like uh, also uh, a story that I'm telling. So it's kind of free from my own experience. Things didn't exactly happen the way they were happening. But in fact, it was um, very much what, what I uh, experienced on the, um, yeah, on the level of um, yeah, um, how things changed and how I saw that um, it had some effects on like the way I was using the living room, for example. It was mm -hmm. just great exactly. not having to watch the stuff that my parents wanted to watch. So it was like the whole dynamic, uh, being able to uh, select what I want to see and being able to like uh, create uh, like some... some point of view of, of, of um, you, the way you, you have some different point of views about the way that you introduce the history and all the commentaries around the, the history, the story of the, the history about the people. There's that host mm -hmm. of that, like, let's say, TV show or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, his, the, whole, the whole dialogues he's using, they are like uh, created from uh, newspaper uh, articles. So that's why there might be, I don't know, I, I really can't. Uh, I mean, it's a translation. You see it in English. And I don't know how well this works, but uh, the approach was like to have that strange tone which is like something between technical and uh, moral talk so mm -hmm. what that guy is using so he's like some some kind of guy who's like kind of objective but there's also like uh, opinion in the uh -huh. way he's talking about video and then there's like the guy who's uh, like the um it's also like a, a television uh, character the guy who's reading the news He's uh -huh. like delivering the facts. And there's also the guy who's talking from the television, who is like something like the, the whole concept of media. Yeah. He's doing like the, let's say, media philosophy talk. Uh -huh. And he's talking from the television. And of course, there's the television itself, which is always, uh, which is always on screen. You see it all the time in every shot. And... There's all the, the medium itself, which is like that, uh, use, using the archive material to, uh, yeah, uh -huh. to, as, as, a, as a level of uh, like, uh, yeah, an own layer, which is also like the medium is talking about itself. Yeah, and it's very interesting because uh, your, your point of view as a, I thought, I, I, I consider it more like a conscious media. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the the TV has a con, con a, it's a, a, a constant being, no? For example, yeah. and 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 I like that the the way that it uh, makes and says some statements, and several times, but as statements, the create philosophical statements around what is happening around the 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 context about the witness about the history 
and what is the TV has to say uh, uh, around this, no? And, and I'm talking about uh, 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 something that we were talking some minutes ago about the, the, the witness. <laughs> and, I, I, and I considered it all the time when I saw the first time your, your, your video, that he was more or less a, a dealer, I told you, not a witness. The way that, that he was showing at the, at the screen, the position of the, of the camera, the point of view of the camera, the, um, the environment, the voice, uh, treatment. And, and in some way, don't you think it, he was in some way also a dealer? Because uh, he was uh, just uh, in, uh, in, in um, uh, how, how can I say, uh, clandestine way, the way that he was uh, 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 trading videos, copying. He was a, a, a very uh, interesting child because he was a child at that moment, no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and I think that he has a, a, a very important uh, function at the, at the content because he was part of the, of the script, I think. Is, it right? Is that right? He was part of uh, of the uh, of the making of the script. Uh, the yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, 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 many testimonies, many uh, uh, many experiences that he suffered uh, were uh, were part of the, the the story, part of the story about the industry and the and the story and his homes, his history, you no, know, in some way, no. Yeah. Uh, well, tell me something about the, the uh, and there is an important uh, word I think the, that you, you, you mentioned is the experience about the, the change that the video and the uh, make to the family, to the society when it uh, when it appeared when uh, when it was fabricated the, the video format because the experience changed to watch the films at the first time the experience changed to have the movie at home and the experience changed the way that i have the control to make a stop and watch it later a different way to watch it and the experience changed to watch it in a, a small screen, for example. What about, what about the, 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 the perception? What about, what do you think about what is happening with the screen when the video formats uh, uh, make their, their, their uh, um, uh, appear on the, on, the, on the industry at the home and they were infiltrated in the society. Yeah, it's uh, very much like about um, the personal experience that completely changes because uh, before it was uh, like a collective thing, you were watching TV. Even if you were watching mm -hmm. alone, you knew that you mm -hmm. were watching the program that millions of other people also watch at exactly the same time. and then you got the freedom mm -hmm. to choose what to watch and when to watch. And this is like something uh, very much like the propellant for uh, the whole um, experience of uh being connected with something that gets uh, like uh, banned or forbidden and which is like uh completely um strange in a way that um you know when you're uh, like a child all the things they are like much more innocent than what uh the parent the parents perspective uh, could be which is like more much more moral and 
a medium is always like uh, um, something where exactly those conflicts are. Uh, uh, in some in some way, in the in the principal way, and and they say in the video the way that the attacks need something mm -hmm. about I'm, I'm going something more beyond about that about uh, the what imagination means nowadays i mean because don't you think what is your opinion your point of view about what is imagination nowadays when everybody is has a video reference all the time i mean there is a very big uh, production of videos, movies, uh, and now the, we can say about the streaming uh, platforms and um, everything that we see is a reference about something that we saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you think? And when I'm talking about everything, everything what the, uh, when, when you want to, to talk about uh, in a video, at a video, or a movie, there is always a reference, a video or a movie back that I saw. Because mm -hmm. the imagination, I remember when the, the, the I, I don't, I, I, I don't uh, remember exactly who said this, that the first directors, movie directors at the uh, cinema history, uh, they had their living uh, as experience, as a reference to make their movies. Nowadays, the, the people have another movies to make yeah. their new movies. What about this imagination? What is the real, uh, is there an adventure uh, about this uh, uh, and the way that the uh, there is a big production, audiovisual production nowadays. I think it's really hard to say because I love like all the progress that is happening and I also hate it because it's, it has like um, those aspects like everything is available. You can get it so easily, which is like a great to to imagine uh, yeah. if i imagine the same thing back like when i was 15 or so it it was it's just like great that's the world that i wanted to have and now we have it and back then i was like trying to get uh, a film which was like a copy of a copy of a copy and it took me about several months to get it and i was so happy when i had it so or the video home distribution will be like in 15 years. I don't know. It's like so hard to imagine, like the same as it was hard to imagine 15 years before video that someone could like record television and watch it again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. so, I mean, it's, it's kind of strange as, I mean, I really like the idea of uh, things are available so easy, but in fact they aren't. Cause like all those, um, all those uh, portals, all those, um, um, selection uh, that isn't that limited as like uh, those um, how you say it do you say do you call it portal or um, ah, see, see. Provider. Yeah, like um, or yeah all those platforms they are much more limited than uh, like a video store in a video store you could go in and you exactly uh, knew what um, what kind of store you were entering. You know, you 
could go to the one store that has like all the new stuff and you could go to the other store that has like uh, also some old stuff or some art house, whatever stuff. And you don't have those options right now if you use like the uh, conventional ways. So okay. then you're at the point where you also have to search for it. So okay. I don't know. Things are in, in some way are la like much more easier to uh, deal with. But on the other hand, distribution is like a very complex thing. And I don't know, maybe capitalism isn't the, the right uh, system to uh, share cultural uh, experiences in a proper way so yeah, yeah. <laughs> no and, 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 and that's right because in some way many of this uh, of the of these platforms as, as you say have an I could say an editorial point of view because Netflix for example has a point of view about what entertainment means for the audience yeah what is what might what might be in at Netflix? What might not be? There is an editorial point of view. What the people uh, can, uh, can watch at Netflix, uh, for example, no. And so many platforms have have, the, have that kind of uh, point of view, editorial point of view, about what the audience must watch, no. And and I think I I. Um, okay, uh, and I think that um, that the uh, uh, Soyuz Apollo, in some way, is trying to make a position about this, about the distribution, the production, the 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 way that you exhibit your 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 products, and the way that you archive, you make an archive about all the, the production that you are interested. Tell me something about, the, for the people, the, whether there's something that we don't see uh, clearly, <laughs> but there is, the, the, the video is uh, Soyuz Apollo. Tell me something about Soyuz Apollo, the collective, something yeah. about this. It's like, a, it's like more concept. It's like a fictitious collective. I mean, all those guys, they are obviously me. Um, and um, like I try to to make uh, like an artistic concept where um, all my different approaches to media come together okay. in one. And that's why there are those different people. There's like the collector guy and he's doing the archive, of course. Uh, and that's what I have. I have like a huge archive. So what you see is only a very small part of it i also I <laughs> got like um i don't know there's like a room that i rent where i have uh my uh film stuff which is 16 millimeter and super 8 and so it's like the the stuff that the collector has which is like the jim jones guy who has like the personal experiences he's like the nerdy collector um oh by the way um you can all see it on my homepage and I will, I'm working on an English version of it. So then it could be like a bit more understandable. Okay. So that's uh -huh. what I try to do. I did, uh, also like uh, cinema work. So I also was working in a cinema where I was uh, doing programs and there I also, and so, and somehow, and so that's like the three aspects. It's like archive production distribution and it's getting kind of obvious uh, in cassette television as like mm -hmm. uh, the, the television itself is there and it shows like the stuff that I collected and that I put in there and it's distributed through the television in the video. But it's also like I'm, I'm doing uh, like some, some kind of uh, lecture performances and audio visual performances where mm -hmm. I 
carry a projector with me and uh, I'm uh, screening Super 8 and 16 millimeter about special topics. And it has like some, it's, it's kind of similar to, um, to cassette television. Mm -hmm. Cassette television is happening uh, on screen mm -hmm. and uh, in the performances I'm standing there in person and I'm projecting stuff on the screen and I'm kind of performing and talking about the stuff that I'm showing, yeah. Okay, it's very interesting. Uh, 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 and yeah, just we're finishing the, this, this uh, interview, this uh, dialogue, uh, we're having very interesting things. And tell me something, what might say as the TV conscious, as the TV spirit, for example, about this forced lockdown, the, the situation that we are living now? Yeah. The, uh, the, we are forced to watch the screen <laughs> in some way, all the time, all day, and working. Uh, if, if you want to learn something, if you want to, to, to have some entertainment, to communicate with somebody, uh, what does this mean as a, as a TV, as a... If there's like... Um, if there's like the, um, the moment where you're sitting there and trying to get the new information like about new uh, new um, numbers of infections and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, television gets kind of its old quality back where it's like the a medium which is like uh, in the center of uh, the attention. You know that you can rely on it and yet that you get the, the information that you, that you need. And it's kind of strange because it gets so real. It's, it's something which is like representing reality and turning all... It's very much like uh, watching um, watching Dawn of the Dead and seeing that uh, television studio where you know that's the place you can rely on. There I'm getting my information and there are the specialists that are talking to me. And this is kind of interesting in a means it's everything that media is it's horrifying and it's great at the same time okay thanks <laughs> very interesting and and well just um, one uh, last comment uh, uh, first of all i want to thank you about the, the uh, apollo soyuz, soyuz apollo. Um, it, if you want to say something else to the mexican audience to the arquino audience about your film uh, i think that Main thing that we were talking about uh, it was my interest to the to many audiences to to watch the the video. Uh, uh, we hope so. So one last comment, Thorsten. Oh, I thank you so much for inviting me to talk about it and for showing the film in Mexico, which is like just some some great uh, pleasure for me. Uh, and I hope I will, I will sometime be able to, to join it and see how, because uh, never been to Mexico, it's just a great imagination to, to have the film that I made being screened there and like with that particular interests that I'm promoting there. It's kind of hard to imagine, but I think as I get to know you, I'm quite a, 
quite happy that I see that there's like uh, an audience which is like appreciating it. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm just so happy about it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Thorsten. Uh, we are. Uh, I'm having experience, bad experience with the internet here. I hope everything went okay. Antonio just left, so probably disconnected because I, it's, it's so many people trying to to do <laughs> video conferences. I hope this was recording uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, I, I wanted to say thank you for for this this interview, this conversation. And uh, I have the, comp the, the I am I'm committed with uh, to to make the exhibition at Cineteca Nacional as soon as as we can. So I, I, I great. I I'm sure they, there's going to be a, a long wait list, but uh, eventually we'll we'll we will uh, do it on, on over there. And uh, we should start talking with the Goethe Institute. To bring you to Mexico, since since now to, to next mm -hmm. year, because um, oh, this would be so great. Yeah, yeah. I, I will uh, start uh, asking just right now because uh, I I really want to. That on mm -hmm. the, on on one hand was really was uh, good that we even make it to come bring you to to in March because it, it's going to mm -hmm. be cancelled, <laughs> cancelled. Any, any, anyway, so that's uh, yeah, well, yeah, right. <laughs> that's what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, I always thought that things happen for some reason. So they they didn't help us to bring you because because and it, you you cannot bring you cannot can't come anyway. But next year, I hope I'm crossing my <laughs> finger. It's gonna be different. So yeah, we we will. Uh, start because Great. I think this this um, inter exchange of experience will be will be awesome for for, for us. I'm pretty sure that you you will enjoy it, uh, coming to here. So Antonio didn't come back just to say. Did you like to talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed. It. I haven't this this connection. Think it was interesting. Yeah, for sure. I... No, no, for okay. sure. Okay, <laughs> great. For sure. For sure. I'm just uh, hoping that uh, okay, uh, this, this thing record everything because I, I, I was just coming and uh, going outside the room, but I hope I hope this. And uh, in any case, we we will try to recover the the, the most uh, part of the, of the interview. I was waiting for Antonio to return to say goodbye, but uh, <laughs> I I don't know what happened with him. But anything uh, anyway, thank you so much, Thorsten, and uh, we stay in touch. <laughs> To stay in touch. Great. Thank you too. I'm really very happy with you caring about uh, the stuff. It's really great. Thanks. Okay. So, choose this world. <laughs> so, I, I feel like um, I choose this world. See you. <laughs> no, no, sorry, we have a delay. So please let tell me continue. Ah, okay. Uh, I feel being in in good hands. It's like uh, being in uh, good circumstances with you. Just feels great. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. I'm, I'm honored because <laughs> you you trusted your film to me, and I'm doing my best to just spread the word because your film is amazing, and Ultra Cinema is. Uh, it has a lot uh, of interest in, in archives, in audiovisual archives. And uh, on this side of the world, we, uh, at least in Latin America, we are not doing works like yours. And yeah. it, it's important, it's important to know, even uh, even this happened in, 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 in Germany, in Europe, it's important for us to, 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 know, to know about formats, to know about how this thing evolved. And that's why I'm I'm, I'm like uh, pushing all the time to to to, to looking for ways to, to to screen your film and okay we yeah, are great. we are we will we will try to to do more but anyway thank you so much uh, now 
uh, we are um, uh, continuing till May 30, 31 uh -huh. with the film. I hope more people watch it. And as soon as I edit this interview, I will upload it to the, to the website. So. Oh, great. Great. Let me know. Perfect. Now, and uh, yeah. one more thing. If I'm coming to Mexico, I'm bringing a Santo print with me on Super 8. You have it? You have one print? Yeah, I have one. Oh, cool. Yeah. For, <laughs> please do that. Please do <laughs> I will. <laughs> it would be amazing to screen it from, directly from your archive. It's in, it's in, right. it's, it's up in German? It's in Spanish. Ah, okay. No, it would be amazing if you have it dubbed in German. <laughs> I, I, this, I, I, it, this one isn't available. It's only a few that were yeah, available in Germany. Yeah, I, 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 I can imagine. Oh, great. Please do that. Please. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay. We will work on that. We will work on that. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much, Thorsten. Thank you too. Have a nice day. <laughs> Tschüss. Tschüss. <laughs>